the only American on the Pope's commission, is based at Hempstead's Hofstra University. Dr. Phyllis Zagano echoes the Pope in saying that to ordain women deacons does not mean that women will be ordained priests. In the early church, there are two separate ministries. The deacon worked for the, uh, for the bishop and the priest worked for the bishop. Today, deacons can perform some of the ministries of the church, like preaching the gospel and conducting baptisms, weddings, and funerals. Dr. Zagano says that the church included women in this separate ministry until about the 12th century. One woman deacon is mentioned in the Bible, Phoebe, who carried Paul's letter to the Romans. It's pretty clear that they were on the roster of clergy. Um, it's pretty clear that they assisted with the anointing and baptism. And uh, interestingly enough, women deacons anointed the ill women. Dr. Zagano believes that church doctrine would allow women to perform all the functions of a deacon. She is grateful that Pope Francis has chosen to look at the issue further. And we were all made in the image and likeness of God. So now here's an opportunity for the church to again teach that, that women are made in the image and likeness of God. The date for the commission's first meeting has not yet been set, but Dr. Zagano says she's ready to head to Rome and offer the Holy Father any assistance that she can. For Currents from Hempstead, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.